okay we have stated that the energy it will be transformed from one form into the another form now for that we can consider an example of dam okay now all of you have seen the dam okay now there will be a reservoir and some gates are there okay so the wall is there and in that the gates are installed okay so whatever the water which is stored into the reservoir that is at certain height it is stored no so that's why there will be potential energy it is involved in the what i can say water so jo particular water wahan pe rahega to uske andar kya ho jayega potential energy will be generated because it is at a certain height from the uh, what i can say the ground level okay so that's the reason why wahan pe potential energy rahega and once you open the gates okay uh, i'll show you that example because uh, it I have few examples with me, so that uh, you will be able to understand, like uh, how the exact uh, conversion takes place. Okay, there are so many examples uh, available. Okay. Just a minute, ah. Yes, the file is opening. आप लोगों को क्या दिख रहा है अभी स्क्रीन पे बैटरी टेक्नोलॉजी एंड डिजाइन या चैप्टर या ओके ओके इज देयर नो यस यस यूजुअली इफ यू हैव इफ यू हैव एनी एनिमेशन ना सो लाइक यू विल बी एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड things properly okay now this is an example of potential energy okay and uh, this is a example of kinetic energy when the object is in uh, motion i can see right uh, then this is an example of conversion of potential energy into kinetic energy so basically we are converting the one form of energy into another form so you can see that here in reservoir when the water is stored it will be at a certain height so because of that there will be uh, potential energy which is stored inside that water and once you open this gate this water will start flow okay and whatever the flowing water is there it will be having a kinetic energy okay. clear okay so that is an example of uh, energy conversions okay um then do you know anything about uh, the different ty other types of energies also like renewable and non renewable type of energy have you ever heard about it hello have you ever learned also. about your renewable and non renewable yes okay basically uh, i'll explain that again because since we are dealing with the energy na so we need to understand this concept properly okay 
so let's try i'll explain all these things from that uh, okay one thing uh, that we need to explain in that actually uh, a little bit advanced part is there because uh, now this is an advanced part but still topic so that's why i need to, i want to explain you these things okay so basically uh, whenever we are talking about the energies okay so we have a uh, so many forms of energy those are available on our art okay but usme se hum log kuch hi use karte hain sab pura abhi tak hum log ko invention nahi hua hai so we are using uh, small amount like jo bhi certain amounts abhi hum log ko pata hai certain type of jo energies pata hai utne hi hum log kya karte hai use karte hai now what is uh, what uh, why why we are using uh, that like less amount of like uh, energy sources either we don't know what are the different uh, energy sources okay and we don't have enough technology to extract that energy sources so that's the reason why we are not using that much energy sources in that. okay so basically what we are doing so as we are saying that the energy neither be created nor be destroyed okay so if you talk about the sources of the energy okay so depending on the sources of the energy it is again divided into two types that is classified into two types okay the first is your renewable energy and the second thing is nothing but your non-renewable energy now what is the meaning of renewable energy sources now renewable energy is are nothing but what the energy which is produced from the resources which are replenished naturally over a short period of time okay so means what there will be a replenishment of the uh, energy whatever the sources are there so there will be a replenishment of the energy matlab wo wapas restore ho jayega paisa replenish okay again it will be generated okay and that will be takes place naturally over a short period of time and that is called as a renewable energy sources so agar hum log examples consider karte then solar is one of the uh, best example of energy source okay wind is there water is there biomass is there and geothermal is there i think all, all i think we have studied this these concept in i think 10th okay so 10th ke hum log ke syllabus mein shayad ye rahega i don't know uh, because uh, abhi ka syllabus uh, it is quite change actually okay so basically these are the things so jaise solar energies are there okay so solar energies ko hum log pehle bhi use karte aa rahe the okay pehle hum log kya karte the usko like growing of crops then walk khud ko warm rakhne ke liye ya fir drying of foods wagaira jaise hum log kuch sukhane rakhte the to ye ye aise sab cheeze hum log tabhi karte the but now the solar energy it can be used uh, in solar heaters okay then uh, what i can say solar like uh, a water system jo rehta hai water heating ka system jo rehta hai then even food dryers are there matlab solar operated food dryers are there जिसमें आप डायरेक्टली उसको यूटिलाइज कर सकते हो बेसिकली जो भी सोलर एनर्जी कलेक्ट करना है फॉर दैट दीज आर द कलेक्टर्स दीज आर कॉल्ड एज सोलर पैनल्स ओके सो इट विल कलेक्ट ऑल द सोलर एनर्जी एंड दैट विल बी कन्वर्टेड इनटू द इक्विवेलेंट फॉर्म सो दैट इज अगेन एन एग्जांपल ऑफ एनर्जी कंजर्वेशन ओके सो यू कैन सी इट ओवर हियर द सोलर पैनल व्हिच इज व्हिच इज इंस्टॉल्ड ऑन द your uh, roof over there and it will be collecting all the energies and that is converted into the electrical energy so this is a one form of energy that is your solar energy that is converted into the electrical energy okay so that is an example of energy con conversion then another type is wind okay so wind is again a uh, good thing it is again available in so much quantity so we are using wind mills or some turbines are there okay and jaise hi wind flow ho jayega the turbine will start rotating and the this turbines are attached to the generator so because of that generator the energy will be generated okay so this is an example you can see so wind is flowing so because of that these blades are moving and blade jaise move ho raha hai to yahan pe gears and all arrangement hai jiski wajah se ye generator rotate ho raha hai and generator is what what it is doing it is 
uh, generating the electricity and that electricity is sent to the grids okay you might have seen this thing especially jo outside uh, locations jo rehte hai aapke gaon side wagera or if you uh, i think i have seen it, it in maybe it is uh, if you travel by train from borivli to this side like virar and uh, aage so that time you can see this grids uh, okay so basically these are transmission lines so in agar uh, electricity to transfer karna hai from one part to another so we are using that grids okay so basically it will be sent to the grids then hydroelectric energy so like whatever the power of a moving water is there okay flowing of water is there that can be used to uh, rotate the turbines and that will generate the electricity okay so basically this is the thing right some reservoir is there which is at some height the gates will be open over here okay and the water will start flowing now because of the gravity jo bhi water moving water ka speed hai that will be increased and then it will go to this draft tube okay so here it will be what the turbine is there again this turbine is rotating which is connected to the generator which creates the electricity okay and whatever the rest of the water it is there it will be go out okay now again the same thing is there now in the kinetic energy it is converted into the electrical energy so that is again an example of energy conversion then uh, biomass is there also okay so biomass mein hum log kya karte the heat energy or the chemical uh, energy is there that is converted into the electrical energy that is again an example uh this is the geothermal example so geothermal mein bhi hum log wahi karte hai ki like uh, jo bhi uh, earth ke andar jo bhi uh, like high pressure steams hai ya fir jo bhi high temperature steams hai those steams are extracted okay which is used to run the turbine this way okay the generator yahan pe attached hai so that will be generating the electricity okay so that is an again example of what i can say the energy convergence and even if you talk about the non renewable type of sources so non renewable type of sources are nothing but what where the replenishment okay actually non renewable sources mein kya hota hai whatever the uh, whatever the energy resources are there those are in limited supply and it will play, it will take a long time to replenish okay those are called as a non renewable energy sources right so if you consider any example in that you can say thermal energy is there the nuclear energy or the natural gas energy is there okay so basically thermal energy ka yahan pe ye hai so is like whatever the coal is there so coal is heated over there so chemical reaction from chemical energy ko hum log convert kar rahe heating energy mein okay heat energy and heat energy ko baad mein hum log kya kar rahe kinetic energy mein convert kar rahe and the kinetic energy se yahan pe turbine move ho raha hai and then electricity is generated okay so see there are so many uh, examples of the energy uh, conversion chemical to heat this is chemical to heat heat to what the kinetic energy kinetic energy to the electrical energy so there are so many conversions uh, of the energies over there the nuclear energy is again there so nuclear energy may be aise hi rehta hai again the heat energy again chemical energy is converted into heat heat into the kinetic and kinetic into the electrical energy and even the same thing ha- happens with the natural gas also so these are the different uh, what i can say uh, just a minute huh? these are nothing but the different uh, examples of the energy convergence over there okay so i think this is clear for you i hope it is uh, clear for you any doubt in this so far no sir okay fine now uh, we will move on to the next some of the uh, 
different contents over there okay uh, i'll share this uh, pdf with you uh, maybe after this lecture or maybe after the next lecture i will try to share it by today itself actually i will okay so these are you can treat this one as a notes okay basically aap log ko notes chahiye rahenge na to ye aap directly usko utilize kar sakte ho to main dekhta hu aaj ya fir kal tak hai na isko upload kar deta hu main okay uh, now what is the uh, like aap log ke liye convenient tarika kya hai isko like access karne ke liye where should i upload it Could you upload it in WhatsApp group, sir? चलेगा ना? No issue. Uh, otherwise, I'll share because फिर थोड़ा मतलब easier हो जाता है sometimes. WhatsApp का कभी कुछ delete हो गया है और so you can access it. I'll try. Uh, जो भी सब कुछ है तो मैं upload करने के लिए कहीं पे देखता हूँ so it will be like safe, right? okay fine so we have seen all these uh, examples okay uh, why i am switching to this directly into the notes because uh, ye jo mera ppt hai so usme uh, so many different things are there so zyada bhi kuch hai wahan pe but still okay no issue about it i'll explain you that also okay but some of the concepts which are not there in the ppt so that's the reason why i uh, have to go with this uh, second thing okay uh, we will see one by one and then again we'll come back to this ppt okay now um, i think this thing we haven't seen yet okay now there is a, there will be a macroscopic uh, and the microscopic point of view okay now we are saying that okay in thermodynamics we are considering the system the system is nothing but what the area or object which is under consideration okay now whenever you are studying these things whenever you are doing a thermodynamic study at that time two views exist okay out of that the first one is called the macroscopic and the second thing is nothing but your microscopic now macro and micro these both the words itself explains everything that macro means there will be a large and micro it means like like small 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 what you can call it as it. okay so basically we can see the uh, differentiation between these two so that we will be able to understand what is the meaning of microscopic and what is the meaning of microscopic now in macroscopic object okay in this approach a certain quantity of matter is considered without taking into account the event occurring at the molecule levels okay whereas in microscopic what it is stating i'll explain you i just i'm reading this and i'll explain you whatever the things are that, that is given in this the matter is considered to be comprised of large number of tiny particles known as molecules which moves randomly in a disordered form fashion the effect of molecules molecular motion is considered now macroscopic mein kya ho jata hai we are having a certain quantity of matter okay so matlab kya hota hai ki large amount of matter hum log ya fir jo bhi quantity of matter hum log wahan pe consider karenge and not dealing with the molecules okay so matlab hum log kya karte direct quantity consider karenge and not considering the molecules in that okay whereas microscopic mein hum log kya karte This is related to the tiny particles. मतलब थोड़ा जो observation है वो थोड़ा और deeper रहेगा यहाँ पे and that is related to the molecules. मतलब हम लोग particular molecules पे भी हम लोग focus करेंगे small number of molecules पे as well as their motion also. मतलब उसमें जो भी effect है motion and all that है so that also we can consider. Okay? I'll show. I'll give you an example from that you will you will be able to understand. ओके, सो मींस व्हाट एक सिंपल एग्जांपल अगर हम लोग ऐसा देखने जाए या फिर सिंपल अगर हम लोग बात करने जाते हैं तो माइक्रोस्कोपिक में पूरा जो भी है सो व्हाट वी कैन से 
डायरेक्टली हम लोग एक क्वांटिटी हम लोग वहां पे कंसीडर करेंगे वेयर आर माइक्रोस्कोपिक में हम लोग क्या करेंगे मास एंड ऑल दैट सो दैट वी विल कंसीडर और द मोशन ऑफ द पार्टिकल्स वी कैन कंसीडर दैट ओके देन माइक्रोस्कोपिक में व्हाट इट इज गिवन एन एनालिसिस इज कंसर्न विद द ओवरऑल बिहेवियर ऑफ द सिस्टम ओके मींस इट इज सिंस वी आर कंसीडरिंग द कंप्लीट दैट क्वांटिटी एंड ऑल ओके दैट्स व्हाई दिस एनालिसिस इज रिलेटेड टू द ओवरऑल बिहेवियर okay where the macroscopic approach what it is stating the knowledge of the structure of matter is essential in analyzing the behavior of the system matlab yahan pe hum log kya kar rahe hain microscopic mein just we are studying the behavior of that particular object or particular jo bhi hum log ka particle rahega to and from that we will be analyzing the behavior of the whole system okay to so, आप लोग ने ये अभी ना एक्चुअली हम लोग ने ये नहीं देखा है व्हाट आई कैन से दैट इज ए फी ए हम लोग का अभी भी बाकी है तो उसमें ना ये कॉन्सेप्ट थोड़ा अच्छे से समझ में आ जाता था बेसिकली एफ ए में द सेम थिंग वी आर डूइंग इट ओवर दैट ओके सो बेसिकली जब भी हम लोग कोई भी प्रॉब्लम सॉल्व करते बेसिकली एट दैट टाइम वी विल कंसिडर द कम्प्लीट ऑब्जेक्ट ओके वेर एज एन एफ ए हम लोग क्या करते हैं कि वो पर्टिकुलर ऑब्जेक्ट को स्मॉलर पार्ट्स में डिवाइड करते हैं उसमें से एक स्मॉल पार्ट हम लोग कंसीडर करते वी आर एनालाइजिंग दैट ऑब्जेक्ट एंड वॉट एवर द रिजल्ट वी आर गेटिंग फॉर दैट वी आर इंटीग्रेटिंग दैट रिजल्ट ओवर द वर्ल्ड डोमेन मतलब वो जो पर्टिकुलर टाइनी पार्टिकल है या फिर जो एलिमेंट जिसको हम लोग बोलते हैं उसके लिए जो भी रिजल्ट मुझे मिल रहे हैं सो दैट आई अप्लाई दो रिजल्ट ऑन द कम्प्लीट ऑब्जेक्ट ओके सो द सेम थिंग इज गिवन ओवर हियर सो इन माइक्रोस्कोपिक you are studying the complete behavior of an object whereas microscopic mein what you are doing you are studying only the what i can say the behavior of that particles particle or particles and from that you are analyzing the whole things over there okay now what is the next thing this approach is used in the study of classical thermodynamics okay so classical thermodynamics mein hum log isko use karte whereas this approach is used in the statistical uh, statistical thermodynamics i'll say this. show you the example so you will be able to understand a few properties are required to describe the system okay where here the large number of variables are required to describe the system yahan pe kaisa hai ki simple properties ke sath you can define the system in microscopic you required large number of uh, well uh, variables are required now what are those properties which are describing the macroscopic and microscopic so in under, under the micro macroscopic there will be a pressure the temperature okay so simply kya ho jata hai ki pressure and temperature agar main kisi system ke related agar batane jao so it can be easily measured ओके okay, तो अगर एक कोई पर्टिकुलर सिस्टम है जिसका मुझे टेम्परेचर या फिर जो भी प्रेशर चेक करना है सो दैट इज क्वाइट इजियर फॉर मी वेयर एज माइक्रोस्कोपिक में ऑल द प्रॉपर्टीज लाइक द वेलोसिटी द मोमेंट ऑफ द काइनेटिक एनर्जी ओके दैट नीडेड टू बी डिस्क्राइब द सिस्टम कैन नॉट बी मेजर्ड इजीली मतलब जो भी एनर्जीज एंड ऑल दैट है ना सो दैट कैन नॉट बी मेजर इजीली ओके सो देखेंगे हम लोग एक एग्जांपल मतलब ऐसा है उसमें शायद you will able to understand matlab thoda aage hum log jayenge na jo concept mein at that time you will be able to understand just like uh, path function and point function correct hai to us time pe ye uh, difference exactly clear the samjhega okay so then the properties of the system are their average values obviously uh, whatever the uh, values we are getting whatever the analysis we are getting na so those are nothing but the average values and not the exact values whereas whatever the values or whatever the properties which are defined in the microscope microscopy those are related to the each molecule individually so that will be more what i can say accurate values over there okay and this re uh, approach requires a simple mathematical formula for analyzing the system in the microscopic mein kya hai ki अगर आपके पास एक सिंपल मैथमेटिकल फॉर्मूला है सो फ्रॉम दैट यू कैन कैलकुलेट द थिंग जैसे पी वी इज इक्वल टू एन आर टी हम लोग यूज करते हैं या फिर एम आर टी यूज करते हैं सो इफ यू हैव ऑल द क्वांटिटीज एंड इफ यू वांट टू कैलकुलेट द प्रेशर यू कैन इजीली कैलकुलेट दैट प्रेशर बाय सब्सटीट्यूटिंग ऑल द वैल्यूज ओके बट यहां पे कैसा है कि नंबर ऑफ मॉलिक्यूल्स आर वेरी लार्ज ओके एंड सिंस इट इज अ स्टैटिस्टिकल एंड लाइक मैथमेटिकल मेथड्स 
शुड बी इन्वॉल्व मतलब वहां पे कैसा हो जाता है कि यहाँ पे एक सिस्टम को ही हम लोग को एनालाइज करना है ओके सो दैट्स राइट इज पार्ट ऑफ द एनालिटिकल सिस्टम और यहाँ पे कैसा हो जाता है वी हैव टू गो विद सम मैथमेटिकल मॉडलिंग्स एंड ऑल दैट बिकॉज हियर देर आर सो मेनी नंबर ऑफ मॉलिक्यूल्स आर देर सो फॉर ईच एंड एवरी मॉलिक्यूल यू नीड टू कैलकुलेट दो थिंग्स ओके एंड दैट इज नॉट पॉसिबल विद द सिंपल मैथमेटिकल मॉडल सिंपल मैथमेटिकल फॉर्मुलेशन सो फॉर दैट यूजली वी आर गोइंग फॉर the mathematical modelings are there so some equations are there okay so those equations will be in terms of the differential equation and generally we are uh, stating those equation and then after that we can put all the values in that equation particular equation and you can find out all the values that is called the mathematical modeling okay generally uh, i don't know aap log ne ye kabhi padha hai ya fir kabhi suna hai aisa बट नॉर्मली जो भी हम लोग रिसर्च एंड ऑल दैट जो करते हैं मतलब हम लोग के जो प्रोजेक्ट्स एंड ऑल दैट रहते हैं नाउ एट द डिग्री लेवल वट एवर द प्रोजेक्ट्स आर देयर सो वो ना थोड़े सिंपल रहते हैं उसमें इतना कुछ ऐसा ये नहीं रहता है जस्ट यू हैव टू मेक अ प्रोजेक्ट यू नीड टू एबल यू शुड एबल टू एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड द कॉन्सेप्ट ओके वट इज देयर इन यूर प्रोजेक्ट एंड ऑल दैट एंड देर इज नो कंपलशन दैट यूर प्रोजेक्ट शुड बी इन रनिंग कंडीशन okay so that is for uh, this one uh, mumbai universities i mean normal universities and not about not for you actually uh, okay so this is the thing for the uh, degree projects but where wherever we are going into the higher education like masters and all that so in masters there should be like thoda or uh, tough rehta hai wahan pe projects ke bare mein and you should be having like output it should be there right and output khali jise hum log experimentally karte hai output to experimental se to aana chahiye obviously but how you will justify those values like these are these values are correct okay so you need some validation for that and that is actually a procedure like whenever we are going not for the project but later on in uh, jobs and all that okay at that time also we are doing the same thing okay basically uh, generally what where where we are doing this thing in r and d department that is the research and development okay so in research and development you are going to uh, study about new things okay we are analyzing the systems and all that okay so whatever the results you are getting how you will uh, justify those results like these are correct or not so for that some validation it should be there okay so majorly validation kaise rehta hai either you can go with the software okay uh, like jo bhi hum log analysis karte hai whatever the simulation that we are performing or the second thing is nothing but your mathematical modeling okay so for that particular system you need to write down the mathematical modeling so that will be in terms of the differential equation thoda sa critical rehta hai wahan pe okay but still uh, it is a good thing so once you develop a mathematical model for the particular uh, what i can say particular object or particular study you if you okay then just substitute any of the values and directly you will get the result so that is your mathematical modeling kabhi dikhaunga aap logo ko like kaise hota hai mathematical modeling so it will take so much time actually right fine so this was all about the macroscopic and microscopic approaches so there may be some questions like this get differentiate between the macroscopic and microscopic okay so you should be in a uh, position to answer these questions fine then already we have studied this thing that is the thermodynamic system and the control volume now the thermodynamic system which is already we have studied so what is that it is defined as the quantity of matter or region in the space upon which the attention is concentration for the investigation or the analysis of the thermodynamic problem hum log ne system ka jo definition hai wo thoda ekdam short mein dekha tha the area which is under consideration now this has been more elaborated and now it is what to define the quantity of matter or region in a space okay on which the attention is concentrated for the investigation and analysis likewise the same thing is there but little bit elaborated over there so any state system you can consider like heat transfer or the work transfer is there 
then surrounding an environment whatever the things which is outside the system is nothing but your surrounding okay and the things which are separates the system and the surrounding are called as a uh, boundary con boundary conditions or the boundaries of the system okay so i think we haven't seen these uh, types okay so basically what are the different types of boundary out of that the first one is nothing but your fixed or the moving boundary whereas the second is nothing but your real and imaginary boundary now we know that this is an example suppose this is a piston and cylinder example is there okay now this is a moving boundary matlab ye jo piston hai okay if the pressure and this container if it is increased then this piston or whatever that it is there dead weight or something it so it will be moving in upward so this boundary is there because neither the mass is transfer nor the energy is transfer over here okay so these are the moving boundaries and these are fixed boundaries so you know that ki yahan pe ha matlab ye yeah, these are real what i can say fixed boundaries yahan pe dekho yahan pe okay so yahan pe teen side pe you will see the wall boundaries are there and on this side there is a uh, piston face so that is your fixed or the moving boundaries where this is a real and imaginary boundary so these are the real boundaries like okay ye nozzle yahan pe hai hum log ka so for that yahan pe ye boundaries real hai whereas these are called as the imaginary boundaries okay so basically we are considering that boundary okay okay so if you talk about theoretically matlab abhi yahan pe mathematical word use kiya hai but agar hum log baat karte hai so if you talk about theoretical concept the boundary has a zero thickness now that is not practically possible but theoretically the boundary has a zero thickness and thus it contains it neither contains any matter nor occupies any volume in the space matlab so, the boundary hai na that is we are considering zero thickness value i mean zero thickness uh, boundaries we are considering so its meaning is such that it does not occupy any volume in the space okay और एनी मास इन द बाउंड्री मतलब आपकी बाउंड्री में कुछ भी मास भी नहीं रहेगा एज वेल एज देर इज नो वॉल इट विल नॉट ऑक्यूपाई एनी वॉट आई कैन से द स्पेस इन द सिस्टम सो सिंपली अगर हम लोग बात करने जाते तो क्या रहेगा देर विल बी अ सिस्टम एंड देर विल बी अ सराउंडिंग बीच में जो बाउंड्री है दैट इज जस्ट अ इमेजिनरी कॉन्सेप्ट और वॉट आई कैन से देर विल बी समर्चुअल कॉन्सेप्ट इट इज देयर ओके एनी डाउट इन दिस सोफर okay uh then the next thing is nothing but your thermodynamic system so already we have seen three types of thermodynamic system the open type in open time both the mass and the energy it can be transfer i mean heat and energy can be transfer okay from uh, system to boundary or boundary to system okay in closed type only there will be a exchange of energy and mass is not transfer okay so these are called as a uh, what i can say the closed systems and third are called as a isolated system so in isolated system there will be no interaction okay between the system and the surrounding means in simple language there won't be any mass transfer and nor uh, energy transfer is there okay and one more type is there that is called as the adiabatic system now now we need to understand this thing actually aage chal ke ye uh, concept aayega okay so basically what is adiabatic system the boundaries do not allow the heat transfer to take place matlab kya hai ki there is no change in the heat okay there is no energy transfer in that heat transfer in that only work is transfer okay so whatever the exchange of energy it is there so it will be transfer in the form of work to jaise ye piston hai this is insulated so jo bhi heat hai yahan pe this is not going to release but because of like heat or we can call it as so because of the pressure this piston will moving okay and whatever the moment is there 
सो पिस्टन क्या हो गया अभी ये जो एनर्जी है दैट इज बीन कन्वर्टेड इन टू द काइनेटिक एनर्जी ओके एंड दैट विल फॉर्म द वर्क सो दैट्स व्हाई हियर इट इज गिवन एज द बाउंड्रीज व्हिच इज नॉट अलाउइंग द हीट बट इट विल अलाउ द वर्क फॉर दैट ओके एंड हम लोग को आगे चल के ये देखना है ये बिकॉज़ वी हैव टू कंसीडर एडियाबैटिक प्रोसेस सो इन दैट द टेंपरेचर इज नॉट गोइंग टू चेंज ओके so basically these are the different concepts actually so that आगे चल के वो हम लोग देखेंगे like whenever we are starting uh, with the first law ना no? at that time we will see it okay then the next thing is nothing but your homogeneous or heterogeneous system so what is the homogeneous system so system which consists of a single phase is called as a homogeneous system ओके सो मतलब कोई एक सिस्टम में अगर क्या है कि एक ही टाइप ऑफ फेज है सिंगल फेज इज देयर सो दैट विल बी अ होमोजेनियस सिस्टम सो इफ यू कंसीडर एनी एग्जांपल लाइक अ मिक्सचर ऑफ एयर एंड वाटर वेपर्स ओके या फिर वाटर प्लस नाइट्रिक एसिड सो सिंगल फेज ओनली देयर या तो लिक्विड ही है या तो गैसेस ही है ओके सो इट इज देयर वेयरएज हेटरोजेनियस सिस्टम मींस व्हाट अ सिस्टम व्हिच कंसिस्ट ऑफ टू और मोर फेजेस is called as a heterogeneous system matlab wo jo particular system mein if you found two things are there then it is called as a heterogeneous system now example is what the water and the steam the kind of water bhi hai as well as steams are there okay dono systems bhi yahan pe dono bhi phases pa pe then it is called as a heterogeneous system ya fir ice and water that is again now what i can say the form of the heterogeneous system any doubt in this so far kuch hai to pucho no sir okay fine okay uh till this thing we will see it uh, today like till path functions and all that uh, i want to unnote it okay so <clears throat> sorry till this thing we will see it in this lecture and in the next lecture we will see the further concept and if possible uh we can see examples and all that uh, in the next lecture okay on thursday again we will be having a lecture at 9 o'clock and the same thing uh, saturday again we will be having a lecture okay the same time 9 o'clock and you have to uh, join using the same link the co uh, this meeting id will remains the same वैसे वो प्रशांत सर के साथ मीटिंग है सर कितने बजे का है कितने बजे है हेलो चार ग्रुप्स का हाफ हाफ सर ग्रुप वाइज सबको अलग अलग टाइम दी है अच्छा मतलब ये है सो फ्रॉम मॉर्निंग इट इज देयर चलेगा देखते हाफ एन आवर का या फिर रख लेते नहीं तो फिर सैटरडे चलेगा फाइन नो इशू मेरे को बता दो आप एक बार जो भी है बस हाफ एन आवर में वो भी एक इशू है कि उतना नहीं होगा एंड किस चीज का मीटिंग है कुछ मतलब प्रोजेक्ट्स एंड ऑल दैट इज इट रिलेटेड टू दैट हां प्रोजेक्ट के रिलेटेड ओके ओके सो चलेगा नो इशू विल कंटिन्यू ऑन सैटरडे नो इशू फाइन बिकॉज़ सैटरडे ये एक थोड़ा बच जाता है सो so, Almost we will be completing our first module. Uh, 
have you seen the syllabus? Guys, have you seen the syllabus for this? Uh, for UW or for bridging course? Uh, this one, uh, thermodynamics. So this is the syllabus actually. Uh, so most probably uh, we will see these things. So currently we are uh, completed these things. That is intensive, extensive, thermodynamic system. Okay, uh, that we have already seen over there. Uh, maybe some more concepts are there uh, why I am actually whatever I am telling you now it is uh, not stated I mean it is not given in this thing but these are the basic things okay because a simple bad by the term general bath is like thermodynamics uh, it is a hard uh, hard matlab, like basic subject jo bolte na, wo hai yaha pe. And majorly, मतलब मैंने जितना देखा है ना तो student uh, like उतना इनको नहीं ये होता है like ये bore हो जाते हैं subject में particular but this is a basic of all this like thermal में अगर आपको आगे जो भी सीखना है जो भी कुछ करना है so every basic is lying in the thermodynamic itself okay तो बहुत से लोगों को समझ में भी नहीं आता है कुछ कुछ चीज़ है तो ये कैसा है these are the direct आगे का पार्ट ऐसा है, so that we have given, but still we need to understand all these concepts, so that's why I'm uh, giving you all these things, okay? So basically, uh, it's, uh, in the maybe in the next lecture we will start with these things also, okay? because इसमें से भी मेरा थोड़ा ही ये बचा है, okay? This one, so ये maybe next lecture तक खत्म हो जाएगा, so maybe uh, after that because Obviously, uh, whatever the scenario is there, उससे तो लग नहीं रहा है कि lockdown खत्म हो जाएगा. So, uh, we'll be continue maybe. No issue. So in that we will be start with the first law and that all those things. So no issue about it. Okay. Okay. Now we'll uh, come back to the last topic that is called like, the state. Now state is referred to the condition of the system as described by its properties. Already we have seen the things because whenever we are uh, learning that uh, thermodynamic equilibrium concept, at that time we have stated this thing. I mean we have described this thing, but thoda detail mein hum log yahan pe dekhte ki exactly kya hai wo. Now state is what it refers to a condition of a system as described by its properties. So whatever the properties which is uh, which you are giving from that you can define the state of the system. It gives a complete description of the system. Now just a big example agar am log dek sakte. So this is the first state and this is the second state. Matlab ye system at different state mein. System is again same but the conditions are different. So here it is mass is something different, the temperature is something there and velocity is there. Okay. For the second thing what we are doing, we have kept the mass as a seam. Okay. The temperature is again same, now the velocity has been changed. Okay. So there is some change in the properties in that. So these are the two different adjustments. Means the system is the same thing but we are stating like or we are defining the different state depending on the properties. Okay. If the value of a U1 property change, the state will change to the different one. Just say, you have two properties same memory, mass and the temperature is same. But if I change the velocity, I mean any of the system here or sorry, any of the properties, if you change, so automatically kya ho jayega? the state of the system will be changed also. Okay, so basically, uh, for this, there will be a concept called the process and the path okay now what is the meaning of path and what is the process so i'll uh, go through the definitions and then i'll explain you all the things now for the process what is the def what the definition is given any change that a system undergoes 
from one equilibrium state sorry one equilibrium state to another is called as a process okay okay and uh, the series of states through which the system passes during a process is called as a path of the process right now what is the meaning of this okay now we'll try to elaborate the things so now what is given any change of the system which is undergo from one equilibrium state to another equilibrium state now if you see the chart over here now the graph is there so you can see the state number one and this is the state number two okay now we know that the properties has been changed now this a is again changing and the property b is again changing okay so for the state number one the properties are different and for state number two the properties are again different okay so whatever the change happen between state one and the state two this is called as a process okay and it is independent of the path matlab ek simple batata hu main process kya hota hai if you want to reach from a point to b point matlab a point aapka source point hai b point aapka destination hai okay so jab aap a se b tak reach ho jate ho that is called as a process clear are you getting it so jaise agar main kai se travel karta hu jaise if i travel from borivali to dahanu okay so borivali is there and dahanu is there so borivali is a one state okay and dahanu is the second state right so it is independent of the path main borivali se dahanu pahunch gaya means what the process takes place okay and what the path is stating i mean that is called as the process of the path okay so what path is stating during the transfer of one state or ek state se dusre state ke ja mein jaane ke liye what are the different phases okay you are considering that is called as a path so process it is independent of the path that you have followed i mean whatever the process you have followed there is uh, no use of that thing but in path we have to involve all the system jaise abhi kya hota hai process mein ए से बी में आप पहुंच जाते हो जैसे प्रोसेस मैंने बोला तो ए से बी आप कैसे भी पहुंच जाओ डजेंट मैटर बट वही अगर मैं पाथ जब कंसिडर करता हूँ एट दैट टाइम वट एवर द डिफरेंट प्रोसेस दैट यू आर फॉलो दैट यू नीड टू लाइक एक्सप्लेन ऑन दिस जैसे अगर आपने बोरेली से विरार तक का ट्रेन पकड़ा फिर विरार से आगे तक का ट्रेन पकड़ा सो दैट इज यूर पाथ ओके एंड वेयर एज ए टू बी जो रीच हो रहे दैट इज कॉल्ड एज अ प्रोसेस ओके so just try to understand this thing like what is the path and the what is the process okay so you can okay here it is described to describe the process completely one should specify the initial and final state of the process okay so initial and final hum log directly karenge as well as the path it follows and interaction with the surrounding the path mein hum log wo cheez karenge ki what are the process that has been followed what are the interaction with the system so that will be followed in the processes clear process and the path then the next thing is nothing but your cycle now what is the cycle when the system is in a given initial state goes through a number of different changes changes of state or process and finally return to its initial state The system has undergone a cycle. मतलब क्या है कि अगर आपने क्या किया कि first point से start किया, okay? So okay. So if you start from first state and if you reach to the second state, okay? And so by changing of different state or process, and finally again if you come back to the original state or the initial state. That is called as a cycle. Okay, so अभी यहाँ पे एक example हम लोग consider करते हैं, so that you will be able to understand कि exactly क्या होता है. The steam or water that circulates through the steam power plant undergoes a cycle. Okay, अब ये concept may be यहाँ पे पढ़ के समझ में नहीं आएगा. So for that I'll go again go to the that PPT. So you will be able to understand. दिख रहा है पीपीटी
guys is it visible sir ha ah, yeah fine okay now this is an example of a cycle okay so jaise hum log ne bola ki the steam in the power plant it is an example of uh, cycle now just focus on this tube ये जो मैंने जितना हाईलाइट किया है ना ये ऐसा हाईलाइट मैन मीन कर्सर जो मूव कर रहा हो ना सो दैट इज स्टीम तो लाइक इट इज स्टीम इज देयर मतलब वाटर क्या हो जाता है फ्लो हो जाता है बट डिफरेंट चेंजेस आर देयर फेज चेंज होता है यहाँ पे तो बेसिकली इसका वर्किंग देखो कैसा है कि ये स्टीम है ना अभी यहाँ पे लोअर टेम्परेचर है ये आगे आएगा यहाँ पे एंड द हीटिंग प्रोसेस इज टेक्स प्लेस ओके एंड ऑब्वियसली हम लोग जो बोलते हैं कि क्या हो जाता है थर्मल इक्विलिब्रियम या फिर हम लोग का जो जीरो लॉ है वो क्या बोलते हैं कि दो ऑब्जेक्ट्स के बीच में अगर टेम्परेचर डिफरेंस है तो क्या हो जाएगा देर विल बी अ टेम्परेचर एक्सचेंज बिटवीन और दीट एक्सचेंज बिटवीन टू ऑब्जेक्ट्स तो यहाँ पे क्या हो जाएगा ये जो हीट है दैट विल बी सप्लाइड और एक्सचेंज विद दिस वॉटर ओके वॉटर वट एवर द वॉटर इज दैर एंड बिकॉज ऑफ द हाई टेम्परेचर द वॉटर इज कन्वर्टेड इन टू द स्टीम ओके सो यहाँ पे चेंज हो गया देखो फेज चेंज सो दिस इज अ फर्स्ट स्टेप एंड दिस इज अ सेकेंड स्टेज दैट इज फेज चेंज हो गया इट इज कन्वर्टेड इन टू द वेपर नाउ दिस वेपर विल गो इन टू दिस टर्बाइन सो यहाँ पे ये टर्बाइन रोटेट करेगा एंड देन आई कैन इट विल कम आउट ओके सो वेन इट कम आउट ना यहाँ पे अभी वो वापस रीच हो जाएगा एंड यहाँ पे अगेन देर इज अ सप्लाई ऑफ द कूलिंग वॉटर ये कूलिंग टावर करके रहता है Uh, आगे आएगा वो एक कॉन्सेप्ट वहां पे सो कूलिंग टावर इज देर तो आज से क्या होता है कि जो आपका कूल्ड एयर है सॉरी कूल्ड वाटर है कोल्ड वाटर सो दैट विल बी सप्लाइड ओवर ये तो ये यहाँ पे जब आएगा ना तो यहाँ पे यू कैन सी इट सी जो टेम्परेचर यहाँ पे इंक्रीज टेम्परेचर था नाउ दैट हैज बिन डिक्रीज एंड यहाँ पे अगेन क्या हो रहा है कि दो अलग अलग टेम्परेचर के फ्लूड कम्स इन कॉन्टेक्ट मतलब डायरेक्ट मिक्सिंग नहीं होता है बट वट यू कैन से कॉन्टेक्ट में आ जाते हैं जिस वजह से क्या हो रहा है कि ये जो हम लोग का जो भी स्टीम है सो दैट इज अगेन कन्वर्टेड इन टू द वॉटर पेपर आई मीन लिक्विड फीस ओके सो देखो ना यहाँ पे कैसा हम लोग ने जो स्टार्ट किया था एट दैट टाइम माई वॉटर वॉज इन लिक्विड स्टेट बट यहाँ पे पहुंचते है क्या हो गया दैट इज कन्वर्टेड इन टू द स्टीम आई मीन वेपर फेज में कन्वर्ट हो गया या फिर गैसियस फेज में कन्वर्ट हो गया एंड अगेन वेन इट कम बैक टू दिस थिंग इट इज अगेन कन्वर्टेड इन टू द वॉटर सो मीन्स क्या है कि जब मैंने स्टार्ट किया था तो वॉटर में था इन द सेकेंड स्टेज मतलब ये सेकेंड स्टेज में द फेज हैज बीन चेंज मतलब जो भी सिस्टम का जो स्टेट है दैट हैज बीन चेंज एंड वेन इट अगेन कम बैक एट दैट टाइम अगेन इट इज कम टू द ओरिजिनल थिंग सो दैट मीन्स ओरिजिनल जो भी स्टेट था उसका उसमें वो वापिस आ गया दिस इज कॉल्ड इज द साइकिल क्लियर समझा ये साइकिल का कौन से देन द लास्ट थिंग दैट इज योर पॉइंट फंक्शन एंड द पार्ट फंक्शन ओके नाउ वट इज द पॉइंट फंक्शन वेन द टू प्रॉपर्टीज लोकेटेड ऑन द ग्राफ ओके देन दो प्रॉपर्टीज ऑल कॉल्ड एज अ पॉइंट फंक्शन तो जैसे अभी ये आप देखोगे ना सो दिस इज द स्टेट नंबर वन एंड दिस इज स्टेट नंबर टू नाउ दिस स्टेट इज रिप्रेजेंटेड बाई दिस पॉइंट where a state two is represented by this point okay now what is the path functions whenever you locate the two properties as a point okay then those properties are called as a path function sorry point function now again as we said ki point function is independent of the path to yahan pe wahi hai ki yahan pe ek state hai jiske kuch properties hai so you have located a point on that and yahan pe kya hai ki aapne kya kiya another state is there and that is again uh, what can we can say that is again um, represented by a point so these these two points suppose ye a point diya maine aur ye b point diya then these two points we can call it as a point function okay take example yahan pe hum log consider karte hain the pressure the volume or the temperature to matlab like point function mein hum log kya karte hain generally we are considering the temperature volume or the temp Pressure we can consider. Now it can be represented by exact differential. Okay, so मतलब ये दोनों में जो भी change हो रहा है, whatever the changes there. तो जैसे अगर यहाँ पे हम लोग क्या करेंगे? Volume changes there suppose. Okay, so the dV, okay, is what 
दैट इज अ डिफरेंस बिटवीन द टू वॉल्यूम्स तो मतलब पी टू द स्टेट टू पे जो वॉल्यूम रहेगा माइनस स्टेट वन का वॉल्यूम है वट एवर द डिफरेंस इज देर दैट इज गिवन बाय दिस फॉर्मूला दैट इज अ डेल्टा वी आई मीन डी वी दैट इज देर ओके सो दैट इज अ पॉइंट फंक्शन सो पॉइंट फंक्शन में क्या हो जाता है पता है कि जो भी डिफरेंस है ओके सो जो भी चेंजेस है यू कैन डायरेक्टली मेजर दैट थिंग सो so, यहाँ पे ये डायरेक्टली यू कैन फाइंड इट आउट ये देखो अपने को पता है कि जैसे अभी ये टेम्परेचर है सपोज दो चीजों का ठीक है सो इनिशियल जैसे मैंने अभी जो आपको सिस्टम दिखाया था तो वाटर पेपर रहेगा वाटर लिक्विड फेज में रहेगा तो सपोज टेम्परेचर लेट से ट्वेंटी डिग्री और थर्टी डिग्री समथिंग इज दे एंड जैसे वो स्टेट टू पे पहुंच रहा है सो इट इज कन्वर्टेड इन टू द वेपर सो हंड्रेड के ऊपर टेम्परेचर रहेगा सो यू नो दैट एट फर्स्ट पॉइंट 30 डिग्री सेल्सियस इज दर एट सेकेंड पॉइंट मतलब जब वो वाटर पेपर में कन्वर्ट हो रहा है एट दैट टाइम समथिंग डिफरेंट टेम्परेचर इज दर ओके सो दैट डिफरेंस यू कैन डायरेक्टली स्टार्टिंग टी टू इज समथिंग टी वन इज समथिंग एंड वॉट एवर द डिफरेंस इज नथिंग बट सो दैट टू इज दैट इज रिप्रेजेंटेड बाई द एक्जैक्ट डिफरेंशियल सो वी हैव डिस्कस ओवर यर वेर एज वॉट इज द पाथ फंक्शन There are certain quantities which cannot be located on the graph. मतलब यहाँ पे क्या है कि कुछ properties जो है वो हम लोग graph पे plot कर सकते हैं कि temperature, pressure and all that. But ऐसे कुछ properties है you cannot plot it on the graph. Okay? So majorly क्या हो जाता है कि वो point से define नहीं करते. Those can be represented by an area on the graph. Okay? So in that case, the area on the graph related to particular process, okay, is a function of path of the process. ओके, सो मतलब क्या हो जाता है कि वॉट एवर द पाथ वी आर फॉलोइंग दैट सो ये जो कुछ क्वांटिटीज हैं, दो आर रिलेटेड टू द पाथ ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर थिंग्स। जैसे सिंपल एग्जांपल हम लोग लेते हैं कि हीट एंड वर्क ओके सो जैसे क्या हो रहा है कि पॉइंट फंक्शन में जैसे मैंने बोला कि इट इज इंडिपेंडेंट ऑफ द पाथ सो मुझे क्या चाहिए सिर्फ इनिशियल स्टेट एंड जो मेरा आउटपुट स्टेट है दोनों की दोनों को ही मेरा लेना देना से ही लेना देना है ओके वेर एज जो पाथ फंक्शन रहता है सो इन पाथ फंक्शन वी हैव टू फॉलो दिस पाथ ओके सो पाथ फंक्शन में कैसा रहता है कि जो भी डिफरेंस है ओके okay? मतलब क्या हो जाएगा देखो ना यहाँ पे अभी मैं जैसे यहाँ पे ये फॉलो कर रहा हूँ तो कुछ हीट यहाँ पे कुछ अलग रहेगा यहाँ पे कुछ अलग रहेगा यहाँ पे कुछ अलग रहेगा यहाँ पे अलग इवन वर्क के बारे में भी अगर हम लोग बोलते हैं तो वर्क भी थोड़ा यहाँ पे ज्यादा रह सकता है यहाँ पे ही कम रह सकता है कहीं और रह सकता है सो यू कैन नॉट मेजर दैट थिंग वहां पे टेम्परेचर एंड प्रेशर के साथ मुझे पता है इनिशियल पे देखना है लास्ट पे देखना है सो so, इतना इश्यू नहीं है बट द हीट एंड द वर्क थ्रू आउट द प्रोसेस वो डिफरेंस कैलकुलेट करना थोड़ा सा डिफिकल्ट रहता है ओके सो दीज क्वान्टिटीज आर रिप्रेजेंटेड बाई अ पाथ जो बीच का जो पाथ है वो दैट इज कॉल्ड एज अ पाथ फंक्शन एंड मेजरली जो भी हम लोग के हीट एंड वर्क मतलब जो भी जो प्रॉपर्टीज है जो भी पाथ फंक्शन के जो भी प्रॉपर्टीज है दो आर रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय इन एग्जैक्ट डिफरेंशियल सो यहाँ पे ये डेल्टा करके जो दिख रहा है ना दैट इज इन एग्जैक्ट डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन तो डब्ल्यू टू माइनस डब्ल्यू वन इज नॉट इक्वल टू डेल्टा डब्ल्यू मतलब अगर मैं यहाँ पे कुछ वर्क डन लेता हूँ और यहाँ पे अगर कुछ वर्क डन लेता सो वट एवर द डिफरेंस बिटवीन दीज टू वर्क इज देन दैट इज नॉट इक्वल टू दिस वन डेल्टा मतलब यहाँ पे जो चेंजेस हो रहे हैं उसके साथ मैच होगा इसकी गारंटी नहीं है समटाइम्स इट विल बी डिफरेंट थिंग सो दैट्स वाई जो पॉइंट फंक्शन है उसमें जो भी डिफरेंस है वो एग्जैक्ट डिफरेंशियल से हम लोग डिफाइन करते वेर एज इन पाथ फंक्शन वी आर नॉट डिस्क्राइबिंग द डिफरेंस With the exact differential, we are describe it or represented it by in exact differential equation. And that's the reason why here, see, look, delta W is there and delta Q is there. Okay, so that is change in work and that is change in heat and that is not equal to final state minus initial state. समझेगा ये थोड़ा सा heavy जाएगा concept फिलहाल तो क्योंकि कुछ सामने ऐसा प्रॉपरली दिख नहीं रहा है बट वेन एवर वी आर कंसिडरिंग द फर्स्ट लॉ ऑफ थर्मोडाइनमिक्स सो बेसिकली जो फर्स्ट लॉ ऑफ थर्मोडाइनमिक्स है दैट इज रिलेटेड टू द हीट एंड द फोर ओके एट दैट टाइम यू विल एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड कि व्हाट इज दिस पाथ एंड ऑल दैट थिंग्स
hope so it is clear for you is there any doubt in this any doubt guys no sir okay fine no sir fine so we'll stop for today okay i hope 